the years. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your little finger and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. First, we need to make a slip knot. Place the hook under the yarn. Twist the hook anti-clockwise to wrap the yarn. Pinch the crossover of the yarn with thumb and middle finger. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Pull the yarn tail to tighten the loop. A slip knot is made. Start with 5 chain stitches, ch, turn, skip the first chain stitch, ch, and work 3 single crochets, sc, 2 slip stitches, ss, in 1 stitch, 3 single crochets, sc. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, ss. Work 5 chain stitches, ch, first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch, ch. Mark the left loop of the first chain stitch, ch. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Continue to work 3 more chain stitches, ch. Five chain stitches, ch, are done. Turn, skip the first chain stitch, ch, and work three single crochets, sc, from the second chain stitch, ch, through the left loops of the chains. Mark the first single crochet, SC, and then continue to work two more single crochets, SC, through the left loops of the chains. Three single crochets, SC, are done. Remove the marker. Then work two slip stitches, SS, in the last chain. We need to work the first slip stitch, SS, through the marked loop of the last chain and then work the second slip stitch, SS, through the other loop of the last chain. Two slip stitches, SS, in the same stitch are finished. Then we'll work through the loop on the other side of the chain. First, work three single crochets, SC. Three single crochets, SC, are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the marked stitch.
tighten up. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail. Pull the yarn tail out. Turn the fabric. Thread the needle with this short yarn tail. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess end. One ear is completed. Please crochet the other ear in the same way on your own. Two ears are completed.